Welcome back to another Photoshop icebreaker tutorial. My name is Paolo and today I'm going to show you how to combine two images together using neural filters and AI in Photoshop. Now, starting with your blank canvas, we're going to import our image that we're going to be working with. So I have here two guys fighting in a ring and hit OK. Now I'm just going to turn off this layer and we'll generate our new location. So we can do this by selecting the marquee tool and then selecting the whole canvas like this. And you don't have to do this if you already have another photo, but today I'm going to generate our second photo. And now we're going to hit generate fill. And the new location I'm thinking is a nighttime scene. So maybe beach, moon, light, shallow water. So they can be fighting over the water, something like that, and then hit generate. Now we'll just wait for this to generate and you'll get three variations at the start. But if you're not happy with any of the variations, you can click generate again to generate more. And we have this, these are really cool. And maybe this will work. So I'm just gonna select this image and I'm just gonna put our subjects on top like this. And now the next step is masking out our subject. You can do this by using the quick selection tool or the magic mask, but the easiest way I find it to do this is using the contextual taskbar. If you don't have this, just go to windows and you should just have contextual taskbar ticked. Now you just select your image and select subject. It should only take a couple of seconds and it should have a selection of your subjects. Now, what you can do is press shift, uh, select the lasso tool, and then press shift, and then we're going to draw over the parts that it missed. This will add to the selection. Just going to look over here. Looks like it's pretty much selected. Now you can hit alt as well to remove. So we're just going to try and remove maybe the headband like this and then I'll remove that selection. To simplify this, I'm just gonna remove this as well. Like that, and you can see there's a missing part that's been accidentally selected. I'm just gonna, there we go. And when you're done with that, you can just hit this button, which should create a mask out of our selection. And voila. Now the image is still very much, it looks like it's just been plopped on top of each other, so gonna try and make this a little bit more you know look real so I really like this moonlight because we have studio lights on the side of each dudes the moonlight is sort of motivating that light like right on his knee maybe that might be cool something like that I mean that looks kind of cool I think we're gonna go with that we're gonna try and match the colors it's pretty difficult because this is studio lighting and then this one is like a nature night photography so um, you can do this a few ways. You can actually use just adjustment layers to, you know, change the color and the luminance of the subject to match the colors of the background. But there's an easy way I found out you can do it. Just have your layer selected and then we're going to go over to filter and then click neural filters. What we're going to use is something called harmonization. It's in, still in beta, but it should be under color. And the first time you, it might get you to download, but for me it's already been downloaded and I'm just gonna click the toggle and then we're gonna select the background as a reference image. And it should take a couple seconds to analyze and it's gonna try and match. So it, it you can see it desaturated and made it a bit cooler. You can adjust with the strength of this by using the slider. Okay, and then you can adjust the brightness as well, as well as saturation. I think that might work and then I'm gonna hit okay you can see the image still looks too fake and we're gonna try and use generative fill to add some shadows reflections um, around our subject to make it look like they're in the picture so what we're gonna start off with is with the lasso tool I'm just gonna select pretty much his whole feet and around his feet same with the other leg something like this press shift to add I'm just gonna select 
all the way at the back here because maybe his shadow will reach here and then same with this guy hopefully it creates a reflection of the guy flying and then we're gonna go gender fill and I'm just gonna leave it blank see what it does and then hit generate here are some of the results and as you can see the second photo we got some reflections and then we have his feet pretty much on the sand which is really cool but I really like how there's reflections here we don't have reflections of the other guy unfortunately so we're gonna try and generate more oh this one looks cool we have generated a wave over here and his reflections as well as his feet on in the water we still don't have reflections of the other guy but just this by itself looks cool since we're not getting a reflection from him I think I'm going to add something like a rock or something here hit generate to make it look like he's jumping from the rock or something there's the final image and there you go if you found this video useful leave a like if you have any questions comment down below I'll see you guys in the next video Thank you.